I'm going to try dropshipping on TikTok with no money. Meaning if I want to get any sales, I need to go viral. And since I'm not spending any money, I only have 14 days before my Shopify free trial ends. And before I release all my TikToks, I'm going to start a Shopify trial and set up my website. So I saw these shark slides on TikTok that are stylish. And honestly, I would wear them myself. It looks like a few people are already dropshipping this product, but I think I can land some customers if I get one of my TikToks to pop off. On AliExpress, they're selling for $7 plus $7 shipping. And I think I can sell them for anywhere between $20 and $25. So the profit margin is all right. Now I just need to order them on Amazon and wait for them to arrive. I've already created a list of TikTok ideas. So once I get the product, I can get started on producing the TikToks. Now I'm gonna film 10 to 20 TikToks. And once that's done, I can start on my site because I only wanna start my free trial once my ads are running. Okay, so it's been a few days now, but I just finished my website and not gonna lie, it's looking pretty nice. I got some good pictures, wrote up a catchy description, and imported reviews from AliExpress. There was a lot more put into the website than just that, but I think putting in the time to make a professional brand just makes it more likely that you'll land customers. Now I just have to get those customers, which is the hard part. I already posted my first TikTok, but I don't expect much from it because I think the algorithm is still trying to understand what type of content I'm posting. I'm also going to be posting my content on Instagram and YouTube, and I think this will just give me a better chance of reaching potential customers. So today is day five of the challenge, meaning I only have nine more days to get a sale, but I'm confident I can achieve that goal. Before I mention the reach I got on each platform, I do wanna mention that I made my logo on Canva, which was super easy. It took like 15 minutes. So I recommend you using that platform too. I also had to buy a domain name, Caudalie Sharks Official, which I think sounds pretty good and just builds trust with the customer knowing that it's not my Shopify. Now getting to my view count, I haven't honestly got that many on TikTok. It's kind of been disappointing. My best video got like 230 views, but on Instagram, that's where it really popped off. One of the videos got 17,000 views and I don't know how, but it didn't get me a sale, which kind of sucks. And then on YouTube, I've done mid. One of my videos got 7,000 views, but the rest are kind of eh. So even though I got all these views on social media, I've only gotten a few store visits and one person reached checkout, but they didn't buy anything. I'm still confident in this challenge. I'm gonna keep posting two to four TikToks a day and I think we still got time. Today is day 10 and time is no longer on our side. I've been racking up views, but I'm not getting any sales. I've gotten 163 store visits and they've almost exclusively come from Instagram. I think this is because most people on TikTok have already seen the product. So if they wanted to buy it, they would have bought it then. In total of all three platforms I've been posting on, I've gotten more than 135,000 views, which makes me think that my advertising is good, but my product is lacking. I also believe after studying the top TikTok shark slide accounts, that I should have been posting content more related to the slides and the color of them and how they look rather than dissing Crocs and making funny TikToks. I think I hopped on the sharp slide trend way too late, but I'm gonna try and land at least one sale in these last four days and I'll check in at the end. Over the past 14 days, across all three platforms, I've gotten over 162,000 views, 187 followers, and 268 store sessions. And guess what? On this final day of posting, with only a few hours before this challenge ended, I finally got a sale. Now, I did say I'm not spending any money on this challenge, but that was kind of a lie. I did need to buy a domain name for my website, which cost me $14, and the product so I could film ads, which cost me $25. My one sale only profited me $8, which means I'm $31 in the red. This was for sure a great proof of concept store, and I really learned a lot, and I feel like I can apply that to make a successful dropshipping store that is profitable. So if you want to see me make that video, please like and subscribe, and check out this video on different side hustles I've tried, and also I've linked my Cuddly Shark ads down below.